will have one electron in it. Yeah. So this will become then 4s2 and 3d1. So even though because this is 3d, so even though 3d is filling after the 4s, even though 3d fills after the 4s, we will always have to write the 3d before the 4s. So we fill the 3d after the 4s, but when we are writing the configuration, we have to write it in order of 1, 2, 3 and 4. So because we are writing it in order, we will write the electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d1, 4s2. So because, uh, because you know that we will always have to write it in order. Now this is how we, uh, so this is why it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d1, 4s2. But remember, even though we are writing 3d before 4s, we will always fill 3d after 4s. And uh, th th so that's that's about it. Now, um, the now let's just write uh, write this in the AR configuration as well. We'll have to write 3d before the 4s. So that's why it will be 3d1, 4s2. So this is actually the electronic configuration is 2892, 2892. So this because we have it, uh, in total we have 9 electrons in the third shell because 1 plus 1 2, 2 plus 6 8, 8 plus 1 9 so 9 electrons so this is the conventional electronic configuration however you will no longer write the conventional electronic configuration you will always be writing this electronic configuration right? Yeah. so we are done with this now uh, just one thing left uh, which is of the formation of ions so obviously when you are forming ions you will be removing electrons. So actually removing electrons happens in the same way as filling electrons. However, it will always be removed from 4s first than 3d. So just remember 4s will fill first, 3d will fill later, 4s will empty first, 3d will empty later. So what fills first? Empties first in the case of, in the case of 4s and 3d, not in the case of any other of these. Uh, so we will always be emptying 4s first and that's why we write 4s in the end even though it fills first. So just remember 4s empties first, 3d empties later, 4s fills first, 3d fills later. So just remember this very simple rule. Now chromium and copper. So these two are the only exceptions for electronic configurations. Let's see why for both of these compounds. Okay. Now if you look at chromium. Chromium has in total 24 electrons. So chromium has 24 electrons in total. Cr. So let's start filling these 24 electrons. So first we have 1s. Two of these go in 1s. Then we are left with 22. So out of these 22, two of these will go in 2s. So now we are left with 20. So now we are left with 20, so 1, 2 and 3, so now we are left with 17, then 1, 2 and 3, now we are left with 14, then we have 3s, so now we are left with 12, now we have 3p. First we, are, first we go here, now we are left with 9, then we go like this, now we are left with 6. So then we will fill 4s first, remember 4s fills before 3d, 4s empties before 3d. So we have 9 electrons left, yeah. now do we have 9 or 8 left, let's just count very quickly, 2 plus 2 4, 4 plus 6 10, 10 plus 2 12. 12 plus 6, 18. So actually we have 6 left, not 9 or something. We have 6 left. So out of these 6, 2 will go here. We are left with 4. Now we come to 3D. That we fill 4S, we come to 3D. So we are left with 4 electrons. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is what we will think. 
will be we are not wrong to think obviously this is the rule of filling however if you see this